If you're a competitive gamer and looking for the best TV for playing video games, you'll want the best performance possible. Manufacturers have been trying to improve their TV gaming performance to compete with monitors in recent years. High-end models tend to have gaming features like variable refresh rate, VRR support, and auto low latency mode all that automatically switches the TV into game mode when you launch a game from a compatible device. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top five gaming TVs and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number five, Samsung S90C OLED. The best TV for gaming we've tested is the Samsung S90C OLED. It's a feature-packed TV that delivers an incredible gaming experience. Its low input lag and nearly instantaneous response time result in crystal clear fluid motion with no distracting blur or ghosting behind fast moving objects. The TV delivers impressive picture quality thanks to its unique QD OLED panel. It delivers incredibly deep blacks, making this an impressive TV for gaming in a dark room. HDR gaming on the Samsung is amazing, but it doesn't support Dolby Vision. Although relatively few games support Dolby Vision anyway, it also looks great in bright rooms with high peak brightness allowing it to easily overcome glare. Its viewing angle is incredibly wide, so it's a great choice for playing couch co-op or party games with friends sitting around the TV. All four HDMI inputs support 4K 144Hz, so you can take full advantage of a 5 pounds box series and a recent PC GPU without compromising motion performance or input lag. If you have deep pockets and are looking for the best, no matter the cost, consider the higher tier Samsung S95 CLLED, which is even brighter. But considering how bright and colorful the S90C already is, the S95C is not worth the significant price hike for most people. Samsung S90C is a fantastic TV for every usage. It has good SDR peak brightness, so it's great for watching TV shows or sports in a bright room, especially with its superb reflection handling. Its superb response time makes it a great choice for fans of fast-moving content, whether sports or games, as action stays clear and crisp throughout. Sadly, it doesn't support any DTS audio formats, making it tricky for a home entertainment center, and it only has adequate low-quality content smoothing, which isn't optimal for streaming services with low bite rates. Number 4. Sony X93 Litters and X93 CL If you're more of a bright room gamer or want a TV that will blow away your friends during a well-lit party, the best bright room for gaming TV we tested is the Sony X93 LX93 CL. It's an excellent gaming TV with very little blur behind fast-moving objects, thanks to its excellent response time. But there's a bit more blur than on the LLEDs due to their near-instant response time. It has great gaming features, including HDMI 2.1 bandwidth for 4K at 120Hz, gaming on two of its HDMI ports and support for every variable refresh rate, VRR technology to reduce screen tearing. Unfortunately, two HDMI 2.1 ports are a bit tight if you have multiple HDMI 2.1 devices, especially as one of them is also the EARC port, so you might want to purchase an HDMI 2.1 switch to give you some breathing room. Luckily, HDMI 2.1 switches are now pretty affordable. An advantage of this TV over the Samsung S90C OLED is its Dolby Vision support, although it only works at 60Hz, so it's better suited for the quality mode of your favorite games. Otherwise, thanks to the deep blacks of its mini-LED backlight, it looks great in a dark room, but it's not quite as good as the OLEDs as there's more noticeable blooming around bright objects and subtitles. The best LED TV on the market, it's only available in an 85-inch size in North America, and it's not worth the price premium over the X93L for most people. But if you're looking for the best LED TV, that is it. So you can consider for better gaming experience. Number 3. LG C2 OLED If you want an old but are unwilling to pay the Samsung S90C OLED's high price tag, consider the best 4K TV for gaming in the upper mid-range category. We've tested the LG C2 OLED. It's not as bright or as colorful as the S90C, but it makes up for it with an alluring price point. Helped by the numerous sales, it sees now that its successor, the LG C3 OLED, is out. As with all OLEDs, it's a sight to behold in a dark room, with bright highlights next to the TV's perfect inky blacks. It's also bright enough for a pleasant gaming experience in a moderately lit room. It delivers incredible gaming performance with a nearly instantaneous response time, resulting in crystal clear motion with no distracting blur behind fast-moving objects. 
It's also packed with gaming features, including full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth support on all four inputs, meaning you can take full advantage of the Xbox Series X, five pounds, or recent PC GPU. The TV even supports Dolby Vision gaming at 120 Hertz, a nice bonus, even though it's not widely used. The main difference between this TV and the S90C minus its 83 inch model is the specific type of OLED panel used. Both TVs deliver an incredible dark room experience with no distracting bloating or hollowing around bright areas of the screen. But the TV OLED panel on the Samsung allows for brighter, vibrant, and lifelike colors, resulting in much better color volume overall. If you like the C2, but would rather have something a bit brighter, consider its successor, the C3. However, that TV and the S90C are about the same price and the Samsung is the better TV overall. Number two, Hasn's U8 and U8K. If you want something in the mid-range category without compromising on gaming features, the Hasn's U8 and U8K is much cheaper than the LG C2 LLED, but still delivers an amazing gaming experience. It's great for console gamers with an Xbox series or five pounds, or for PC gamers with a recent graphics card, as two of its HEMI ports support HEMI 2.1 bandwidth for up to 4K at 144Hz gaming, with full VR support, meaning you can take full advantage of what newer consoles and graphics cards have to offer. Like with the Sony, you'll want to invest in an HEMI 2.1 switch to expand on those two ports, as one of them is the EARC port leaving you with only one HDMI 2.1 port for your devices. The Hasens has a slower response time than the LG, so there's a bit more noticeable blur behind fast-moving objects, but fast motion still looks very good. It delivers impressive picture quality with deep blacks and little blooning around bright objects. It gets much brighter than most comparably priced models, even the more expensive Sony X93L and X93CL, making it a great choice for a bright room. Going with a cheaper model like this comes with some compromises though, as it has a significantly worse viewing angle than the LEDs and the Sony, so it's not a good choice for a wide seating arrangement as the image isn't consistent when viewed from the side. But like the LG, it supports Dolby Vision at 120Hz and is just a great gaming TV overall. Number 1. TCL T6 and Q650G QLED the best budget 4K TV for gaming we tested is the TCL T6 and Q650G QLED. It's a great TV that delivers an impressive gaming experience thanks to its low input lag and decent response time, ensuring a smooth gaming experience with very little blur. It has HDMI 2.0 bandwidth on all its ports, but what sets this budget model apart is the 1080 at 120 hertz and 1440 at 120 hertz capabilities with a wide VR range through resolution halving. It's hard to notice the drop in picture quality for resolution halving unless you really look for it. So it's a great feature, making it one of the cheapest TVs on the market with a 120 hertz refresh rate. It also supports Dolby Vision at 60 hertz, another great feature for a budget model. Still, it has worse picture quality than the more expensive models on this list with worse contrast due to the lack of a local dimming feature. It gets bright overall and is quite colorful, but without local dimming, it can't truly emphasize bright highlights. And like the other models from TCL, it has a disappointing viewing angle, so it's again, not great for a wide seating arrangement. Nevertheless, it's an impressive TV for gaming thanks to its low input lag and decent response time. All in all, it's a great bang for the buck option for gamers. The TCL T6 is decent overall. It's better when you can put its extremely fast input lag to good use like when gaming or using the TV as a PC monitor. The TV's contrast is decent, but is nothing special, and lacks local dimming to improve it further, so it's decent for a dark room, but it won't blow your socks off. Its ATR brightness is good, but not enough to make highlights pop, even when combined with the TV's wide color gamut. However, its SDR brightness is very good, and it has decent reflection handling, so it's better suited as a cheap TV than put in a bright room, like a living room with windows, a bright game room, or an office.